Yesterday we had those gusty winds and that has allowed the pollen count to go out of control. We still continue to have very high values of tree pollen, but grass pollen has shot up into the high category. So the breezy conditions will kind of just exacerbate that again today, but it's going to be nice and warm. Highs upper 70s and low 80s, a little bit cooler near the coast. And tonight, no 30s and 40s like last night will be in the upper 50s and low 60s. On Monday, away from the coast, low and mid 80s, a cold front comes through late in the day. And on Tuesday, it will be a little bit cooler especially north of I-64 as that front begins to wiggle back northward. And then most of us will be in the 80s on Wednesday and Thursday. Today, a good deal of sunshine, a few passing clouds, and tomorrow we start off with some sunshine. But then a cold front sinks southward during the day, and that'll cause a few widely scattered thunderstorms by mid to late afternoon across northern Virginia. And some of those will track southeastward during the late afternoon into the evening with higher rain chances east of I-95. These thunderstorms may have some damaging wind gusts. We'll have to keep an eye on that. And those will move out of here tomorrow night. The front wiggles back northward on Tuesday, and that could bring back another shower of thunderstorm, especially southwest of Richmond later in the day. But it's going to be a pretty warm week ahead, around 80 today, low and mid 80s tomorrow, and that mix of temps on Tuesday, 70s to the north, even some 60s at the coast, some 80s farther south and west. Staying in the 80s Wednesday and Thursday with an isolated shower of thunderstorm. A cold front comes into the area on Friday with a shower of thunderstorm, a high of 77. And next weekend will be in the low 70s on Saturday and mid 60s on Sunday. Okay.